Sea of Thieves Season 5 has just dropped, which is very, very exciting, but with it, we get a brand new Pirate Emporium refresh, and this time, it's more Pirates of the Caribbean stuff, adding Barbosa and the Queen's Answer Ring. So let's just get right into looking at the new Pirate Emporium. So first up, let's just go and buy everything. So we are at Plunder Outpost speaking with Mr. Eduardo. So first we have the Season 5 Plunder Pass, obviously I can't go through that in this video because I'm not tier 100, the season has just released, but everything else of course we can. So we have the Royal Revenge Weapon Bundle, the Sea Dog Weapon Pose Bundle, the Royal Revenge Ship Collection, Non-Collector Parts and Collector's Parts. Captain Barbosa costume set, but we're get, there's a bundle currently active with the pet, so it's better value, so I'm just going to get that. We have the free festive tree emote, so make sure you go pick that up. And then we also have the Say Cheese emote bundle. And then lastly, the Frozen Horizon Equipment Bundle and the Frozen Horizon Weapon Bundle. Finally, after a year, they're bringing it in. They are sold separately, however, which is a bit of a pain, but 999 and then 499 for the instruments. So first up, we have the non-collectors Queen's Anne's Revenge ship, aka Royal Revenge, for copyright reasons they can't name it. And just looking at the sales in the figurehead for now, they're pretty standard for non-collectors edition. Uh, you can see clearly where they can be enhanced with the collectors. Nothing too special as to be expected, but for the price of 499, it, it's pretty all right, ancient coin-wise. And the figurehead, even being non-collectors, it still looks pretty outstanding, standing out at the front of the boat. Now moving on to the collector's parts of the boat, as I said, these just enhance it, so you have the nice royal red on the sails with the golden lion crest, but then moving on to the figurehead, when reviewing this, I honestly, when I first saw it, thought it was from the movie, because it looks exactly identical, more or less. The flames on it just really add that extra level of detail, and it honestly, I think it must be the biggest figurehead to date, I don't really know, but it just, it, it does look like it. Then climbing on board, we can see the cannons, capstan, and helm. So the cannons, they're not overly bulky compared to some Pirate Emporium sets, but they are still a little bit on the side. And the capstan-wise, we have a little glow on it, which is quite nice to see in the form of a chalice, perhaps hinting to Pirates of the Caribbean 4 when this whole Queen Anne's Revenge idea is introduced. And then also by the wheel, we have two flames by the wheel, which they just add that little extra detail. Cannon flare wise, the Queen's Anzer Range boat does have quite a standard one. It's I don't I'm not a huge fan. It's too similar to the Crimson Crypt one in my opinion. So for the price, it's not really worth it. It's more similar to the red one you can find in outpost stores. But at night, the sails don't glow, which is honestly, in my opinion, good to see. To keep the glowing to a minimum, because I don't think the ship set would work that well. But then all eyes are on the figurehead, and the glow on the figurehead just enhances it that much more. So then, moving on to the Captain Barbosa clothing slash costume, the Impel emote is Bite of an Apple, and I think they did a really good job on this costume. It really mimics Barbosa, and of course you have the two different styles, one with and one without the Barbosa hairstyle. But just overall, you've got the nice little leather strap, you've got the hat which they've nailed. Only problem is, we'll move on to in a second, the pet isn't Jack the Monkey, which would have been really nice to see. But overall, pretty solid costume. I think one of the best ones they've done costume-wise with parts of that could be and stuff. But the pet we do get is the Mutinous Mutt. Now this is a dog with the Barbosa hat. It doesn't really have any significance to the movies, but I, I mean, it looks, it looks pretty nice. It's, it's Again, it's, it's pretty standard for the Emporium. Then moving on to the weapons now, these, so the only one we really get from the movie is the sword because the rest aren't shown, but it is based off of Blackbeard's weapons with the red encrusted gemstones with the metallic feeling. So then moving on to the sniper, it again, like the rest of the set, is very nice, but I believe you can look at ghosts and they'll appear alive in it. It's got the red scope, which that's what generally what it signifies, so very exciting, we're adding more of them and very cool as well. The blunderbuss, it's a little bit on the bulky side, but it could be worse. It's not terrible. 
Then we actually have the completion of the Frozen Horizon equipment, so this is straying away from the Royal Revenge set, but the compass of this I'm really fan of. The bucket, very nice, a little bit bulky, but the lantern, I think this is phenomenal on the best lanterns. The shovel, again, it's a little bit bulky, I think the ice just does that. But the spyglass is very, very clean. Now, moving on to the speaking trumpet, it's not on the bulky side, which is good. That being said, I don't really know when you'd really use speak. I mean, I, I don't use it that much myself. Instruments are sold separately, but again, they're really nice. And the tankard was free, I believe, in Twix Drops or for logging in last year. The drum, like the rest, has that classic ice on it, so it's pretty standard for the Frozen Horizon set. And then moving on to the fishing rod. I really like the design of the fishing rod, actually, with the ice just sort of trailing down. I know it's all icy, but that just seems a little bit extra special. The hurdy-gurdy is not bulky, which is good, but the ice does look a little bit on the fake side on it. The pocket watch, pretty standard. And then the banjo is very clean, actually. Surprisingly clean. So then, moving on to three emotes. The first emote we have up is the free one festive tree, and this... I find it hilarious. I mean, you're holding two little fishing rod lines and pretending to be a Christmas tree. I mean, what's not to love? But then the paid ones for 249 Ancient Coins are continuing the weapon poses that they've been doing recently. This time it's the Sea Dog ones. Blunderbuss. It's, it's essentially just showing off. I don't know, showing off your weapon, saying, look, look here, as the Sea Dogs are very proud themselves. But I believe that does do it for the Emporium. So thank you guys so much for watching, but before I go, I should just say a Pirate's Carol is now live, so please do go check that out, starring John McMurtry, so the person who voices over in the content update trailers, and it's really, really exciting. But if you haven't already, I say link in the description and in the top right. But apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like. <laughs> and if you're new around here, why not consider subscribing? I do all sorts of CFDs content, gameplay, soundtracks, and all that good stuff. And some of the soundtracks that you may have heard in this video are now live on my channel as Season 5 is released, and it is all such a phenomenal season. But apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.